Oh, AB, give us one more chance. It's AB, though. One, two, three keyboards getting on down. I'm taking it back to the nostalgia. It's taking it back all the way back to the 80s. Yeah, I, I, I probably totally screwed that song up. But anyway, yes, I fell into it. I was a big fan of it. I got one. Yes, I'm not going to hold y'all too long because it's like so many other videos out there talking about this thing. So let's get started. What is going on, you guys? Your boy, Famous Kid Video Game Entertainment. And before we go any further, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. Click like, subscribe. It's always a big help. Now I'm sitting up here thinking a few things. One, I was thinking, I was like, what else did I buy from 8-Bit Dope? Also, I was thinking, hey, there was another type of keyboard that they have on there. And it's like the Famicom version. Then I was just thinking, did I even pronounce 8-Bit Dope right? Or 8-Bit Do? I don't know i probably just screwed that but i don't know. but anyway i have the the mouse i wanted to get them both because i was just like yo this is this is pretty tight you know to have like the whole mouse and the 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 whole you know the keyboard set up so i was just like okay i gotta get them both and as you see me unboxing this thing i am freshly unboxing everything i have not plucked anything up i haven't tried anything i'm just setting this whole thing up i'm you know, and this is like a, a little bit of a, like a newer experience for me because, you know, um, you know, changing off the setup that I have already, you know, I'm pretty much used to my, I don't know, I don't know, batter this name, the Corsair um, keyboard up. And, and I enjoy, I enjoy like everything in my setup that I have. It's everything's easy for, for me and this is standard, but this is like a new little style setup. So it's just gonna, I think it's gonna really like, it's gonna really push to, relax and play those like nostalgia games and you know keyboards back in the day they was heavy they was heavy and if you you had a, like a commodore or anything like that even some of the old keyboards they was heavy i just had to see how much this thing weighed let me let me, let me set this thing up because i know that's grams and stuff but i know just like i said on my channel i, I need to look at the weight you know i want to see some pounds i want to see some real stuff wow it's almost that's like two and a half pounds right there that's almost two and a half right there so so yo i'm gonna see how this this whole this little button thing because they both is they both got some weight to it oh yeah so i'm just saying you know so you know exactly you seeing it right there how much this stuff this stuff weighs so i'm, I'm at that look at that as big as my big hand yo just like like yo this is and one thing about and one thing about lately like, like stickers we got stickers over here you know but they, they show you the directions on how to set things up. So I'm definitely going to be studying that. And I also hear that there's an app, but it ain't out yet. So, so I'm waiting for that. Right. Let's see this. Yo, this is like, this is really legit. Like for real, like this is, this has like a really nice look to it because you know, I mean, the way I see it like this, okay, we're missing out a numeric pad because I'm used to using that, but I was thinking about maybe just getting like a getting like a separate one for the side when i use the numeric pad so i could pretty much i could pretty much deal with that that's that's cool i ain't i ain't really like this this little setup is nice though this little stuff like like bring it back that the whole nostalgia like okay another thing i was like thinking i was thinking because you know i'm used to like the led lights you know on our on the keyboard that's something i'm i'm missing too but to me i can i can go without it i can go without it because you know i got different lights or whatever that you know that shines on it so it's it's pretty nice but it this does give you that relaxing setting so when you want to actually play some of those like rpg games and stuff like that especially like one of those like the top down like like those zelda type of games this right here this right here yeah this little setup right here is yeah you you you're going to be on it for a hot minute, especially if you want to really want to take it back and you really want to like, like set your emulation uh, um, situation up. If you want to go ahead and play like some of those, like if you want to play like the Commodore game, stuff like that, or the DOS games, if you want to play some of those, like this right here is a, is a wow. <laughs> this is just my, this is just my opinion. I'm actually, I'm not going to even lie to you. I'm actually thinking about getting the other one because I don't know. They just, they, they both look, they both look off the chain for real. But just like I said, I'm not going to, I wasn't going to try to hold y'all too long. I just wanted to just like, I, unbox, I just wanted to unbox this thing real quick, show y'all. And, and maybe if you guys decide to get one, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave a link in the description. You'll probably get it like super quick because now it's out. So that's going to be good. And let me know if you guys got one and tell me your feelings on it. 
I'm loving this thing. I can't wait to set this thing up. Let me know if you guys want to see another video of like, you know, like controlling like some of the games. And I'm not that good at, you know, doing the whole keyboard and mouse thing. But as far as like the, as far as like the movements and stuff, I mean, but this is, this is nice. This is nice. All right, you guys, enough of me yapping and talking. I'm out, y'all. All right, made this far. Appreciate it. And from Gaming to Gamer, thanks for watching.